Warringah. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I move that this bill now be now read a second time. Petroleum Exploration Permit 11, known as PEP 11, is a licence for oil and gas exploration off our coast, covering some 4,575 square kilometres of ocean from Newcastle through the central coast and down to Manly, coming as close as within five kilometres from our coast in some areas. The area covered is home to millions of people, significant biodiversity and is a wow migration path. The community's well-being and local economy is tightly intertwined with the health of the ocean in this area. Last week, the Australian Government and Asset Energy agreed in legal proceedings to set aside the decision made by Scott Morrison in 2022 when he secretly took on the additional portfolio of resources. This means the application to extend and vary the PEP 11 licence is back before the Federal Minister for Determination. The Warringah community and, East and other communities along the coast are strongly against this application and outraged at this turn of events. Whilst this was a headache for the previous coalition government with a love of gas, of gas but local MPs threatened by this project, the irony is that now all impacted seats are either held by independents or Labor MPs. So the Prime Minister has a problem now. He is on the record at numerous demonstrations and rallies and has made an election promise to oppose PEP 11. So now he needs to make good on this promise. The Prime Minister Albanese stated, this PEP 11 project should be consigned to the dustbin of history where it belongs. And in support of the vote to debate this bill in this very place, where I should say all of the Labor members voted in support of debate on this bill, the opposition leader stated, we stood at Terrigal and made it very clear that we were opposed to PEP 11. That was a process that went through our processes of shadow cabinet and through our caucus unanimously because this is a bad proposal. The, Pri the Prime Minister then stated, the truth is that the people of the Northern Beaches have been abandoned by the, this Morrison government. The people of the Central Coast have been abandoned by this government. The people of Newcastle and the Hunter have been abandoned by this government. The people of Sydney around the Kingsford Smith and indeed Wentworth electorates have been abandoned by this government as well. So the question now for Prime Minister Albanese is, will he abandon our communities or will he stop PEP 11 once and for all by supporting this bill? Today, I reintroduce the Offshore Petroleum and Greenhouse Gas Storage Stop PEP 11 Bill to Parliament. This bill will stop PEP 11 once and for all. It will ensure that no future applications for any reason can be granted by the Joint Authority or Titles Administrator for the area covered by PEP 11. Without changes to the legislation, the Joint Authority's decision could be subject to further review or challenge, and questions around bias of decisions will remain given the previous statements by the Prime Minister and members of the Labor government. There is a high likelihood that the proponents of the project will pursue litigation against the government regardless of the final decision by the Joint Authority in light of all the comments that have been made. So it's open to the government at any time to make laws enabling or excluding certain activities in certain areas. And that is why this bill today provides a very clear and fast resolution to this problem. It's, this bill states there can be no grant of any new licence or extension to an existing licence to extract oil and gas in the PEP 11 area. It also prohibits any such licence being granted in the future. So this permanently and clearly settles the issue for our communities. I urge the government to consider the merits of pursuing this route to cancellation rather than the joint authority process. Our communities were promised that this licence would not proceed. The government must deliver on its promise. We know that oil and gas are fossil fuels which contribute to man-made climate change. We're already seeing the effects of climate change devastating communities on the East Coast with bushfires in 2020 and flooding in 2022. Methane from extraction of oil and gas, flaring and transport of these fossil fuels is driving emissions growth in Australia. We do not need more gas. It will not lower prices. We have tripled supply and gas prices have increased by 130%. Gas is not a transition fuel. Batteries outperform gas peakers on cost by around 30 per cent now. Oil and gas exploration risks polluting our oceans. The ocean is fragile. 
and already under threat from climate change and plastic pollutions. We cannot risk an oil spill from drilling, a drilling rig wrecking our ocean, which is one of the most unique in the world. And it is telling that far too often, old decommissioned rigs are left just to rot in the ocean. They're not even taken away by the very companies that put them there. This project has huge opposition from our communities, from Newcastle to Shortland to Dubell, Robertson, McKellar and Warringah. Our communities in the vicinity of Pep 11 know this and are adamantly opposed to any exploration or drilling for oil and gas. In February 2020, I tabled a petition with over 60,000 names calling for the cancellation of Pep 11. I have also received hundreds of email concern from constituents. The fact that we are here again discussing PEP 11 is a source of significant frustration and anger in our communities. I'd like to thank Save Our Coast, Surf Riders and Surfers for Climate and the many other community organisations that have fought against this project. Once PEP 11 is resolved, we must turn our attention to all other exploration licences around our beautiful country. We must ban seismic testing off our coastline to protect our marine life. I thank the many members in this place who have stood with me against this terrible project, in particular the member for McKellar, who uh, I will cede the remainder of my time, but I thank our communities for their vocal opposition to this project.